People in northwest suburban Rolling Meadows are on heightened alert after a home invasion and sexual assault. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross is live outside the police station with more on what that man looks like. Jeremy? Good afternoon, Jim. Good afternoon, Mai. This is an image, a sketch that was released by the police department. This is the man the cops are looking for. It is an image that one community is now familiar with, and law enforcement is hoping that will lead to tips and eventually to an arrest. There is a quiet calm some find at Rolling Meadows' East Park Apartments, but near the office window, you'll also spot alarming signs posted. A sketch of a man police are looking for, accompanied by a community alert that made its way to Yadira Marone and family. My grandma, well, I'm worried about her because, you know, like, they can come here too. Last Saturday, police say a man resembling this sketch, described as about five feet tall, weighing 160 pounds, knocked on a door. The victim opened it, and that man forced his way in and sexually assaulted that victim. Marone recalls the police response. And then they were looking around, and then they came here and they told us that to lock her doors because I think he could be around here. Oh my God. But back in late December. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Raquel Martinez described an attack on a roommate in front of two young children. It also took place at East Park Apartments. Drop up in the top of her. She was holding her baby. Around that time, police were looking into two home invasions and a sexual assault, releasing this sketch back in January with a familiar sounding description. A man about five feet tall, weighing about 160 pounds. Like the most recent attack, investigators say he knocked on the victim's front door, forced himself in, sexually assaulted a victim. You'll lock your doors because it's dangerous. Now, police are not confirming that there is a link between the most recent crime and the crimes that occurred months ago, but they would tell us that there will be an update this upcoming Monday. Now, we reached out to the apartment complex for comment on this story. They did not return our phone call. Live in Rolling Meadows, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Jim and Mai. Jeremy, thank you.